Hello, my dear students. My name is Mrs. Mariam Farid. I'm with you today to cover uh, grammar for module uh, six, which is passive voice. Uh, looking at the presentation, slide two, we have to know, first of all, we have to know the difference between active and passive. A sentence is written in active voice when the subject of the sentence is performing the action. A sentence is written in passive voice when the subject of the sentence has something done to it by someone or something. Uh, slide three, we have here uh, um, examples concerning active voice and passive voice. For example, the first one, Sally drove her car off the road. Sally, it's uh, the subject, drove action. Her car, it's uh, the object. So, uh, to change it from active into passive, we have to say that the car, I have to begin with the object, then the action itself, the car was driven off the road by Sally. Sally, the subject, would come after by at the end of the sentence. Of course, we have uh, to talk about the steps in which we uh, can change active sentence into passive one, and we are going to talk about it thoroughly later on. The dog bit Timmy on the arm. Timmy was bitten on the arm because the dog here is the subject, but the action uh, 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 but it is the past of uh, uh, bite. Timmy it's, is the object. So I have to begin using the object, which is Timmy, and then using the action itself was bitten. But of course, we have to change it a little bit, and we are going to talk about it on the arm by the dog. The dog, the subject, and we have to mention it at the end of the sentence after by. Slide four. Uh, we can talk now about the usage of the passive voice. Why do you think we have to use passive instead of the active? We use the passive voice when we want to emphasize the action more than the subject uh, performing it because the action is more important. For example, when I say more and more computers are sold every day. Yes, uh, uh, the action itself, the selling of the computers is more important than who would sell these computers. Number two, the subject performing the action is obvious or unknown. When I say the thief was arrested two hours ago, I don't have to mention who arrested the thief because you know very well that it could be the policeman. We want to avoid an active sentence whose subject is somebody, nobody, someone. When I say the bank was robbed, do you think I have to say that someone robbed the bank? Someone, nobody, some, uh, somebody wouldn't add piece of information to what I'm saying. So it's not necessary. I can just begin with the uh, uh, object and the action itself, which is more important than the one who did it. Moving to slide five. To change an active voice sentence to a passive voice sentence, we have to follow some steps. Number one, make the object of the active sentence into the subject of the passive sentence as we have uh, 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 mentioned in the examples before. Use the verb to be in the same tense as the main verb of the active sentence. So we are not going to use the same verb. No, we have to change it a little bit. We have to use verb to be in the same tense of this main verb and to change this main verb into the past participle of uh, it. Use the past participle of the main verb of the active sentence. Moving to uh, the other slide, we have here a lot of examples concerning all the tenses. We are not, of course, going to read them all, but what I want you to know that we have to change verb to be according to the tense of the main verb. For example, if I have here tense like present simple, she levers the letters. He, she, it with the present simple, the verb should uh, take um, S or ES. Passive, she, Subject, levers, verb, the letters, object. I have to begin using the object. The rule of the passive is that object plus verb to be plus past participle. I have to begin using the object, the letters, then verb to be. In which tense do you think I have to use verb to be here? In the tense of the main verb. If I have here the levers in the present simple, I have to use am or is or are. I mean verb to be in the present simple. So talking about the letters, I have to use are. Then the past participle of the verb, which is delivered. The letters are delivered. I can just end my sentence here or add by her. 
Talking about past simple, she delivered the letters. Here, she, subject, delivered the verb, the letters, object. I have to begin using the object, verb to be in the same tense of the main verb, and then past parts. don't forget this. The letters, then, verb to be in which tense? In the past simple, because delivered here in the past simple. Verb to be in the past simple would be was or were. So the letters were, then past participle of the main verb, which is delivered. The letters were delivered, and so on. Uh, moving to the other slide, talking about other examples, I'd like only to choose, for example, past continuous. Let's talk about the past continuous. She was delivering the letters. She, subject, was delivering verb, the letters, object. Begin with the letter, uh, the object, the letters, then. Which tense you are going to write verb to be in the past continuous? Past verb to be in the past continuous would be was or were plus verb plus ing. I mean was or were plus be plus ing. So it would be the letters were being. Then the past participle of the main verb, which is delivered. Look at the last one, which is boldens. Like must, can, should, uh, have to, has to. Uh, she must deliver the letters. She, the letters, object, verb to be in the same tense, which is models here. So, must be, because models should be followed by the infinitive. The infinitive verb to be is be. So, the letters must be. Then the past participle, which is delivered. Moving to slide 8, we have a lot of examples here. As practice, for example, let's uh, have some of them. Canon likes likes apples. Canon here is the subject. Likes here verb, apples object. I have to begin with the uh, object, which is apples. Then likes in the present simple. Verb to be in the present simple could be am or is or are. And for apples should be written are. Apples are. Then the past participle of the verb, which is liked. Apples are liked by canon. Moving to slide nine, another Example, let's talk about the first one. My mother washes my shirt. My shirt is washed by my mother. Because my shirt is the object, as you see, uh, concerning the colors here, object is written or uh, in green. Is washed here in black because it's the verb. And I have to use is because the tense here is present simple. Uh, so it would be am or is or are. My shirt only uh, one, so it would be is. Then past participle, which is washed. My shirt is washed by my mother. Moving to slide 10. Look at um, the first example here. I greet the student. I subject, greet verb, the student object. Begin with the object, the student, then uh, uh, verb to be, which is in present simple because the verb here is in the present simple, am or is or are. It could be the student is. Then, past participle of the verb, which is greeted by me. Look at the picture. It's another example. The cat drank the milk. The milk. The cat here, subject, drank. Verb in the past simple. We have to uh, know the tense of the verb here as to be able to uh, decide which uh, verb to be are going to use. The milk here is the object. Begin with the object, which is the milk. Then was, why, because drank is in the past, I have to use past simple, uh, uh, verb to be in the past simple, which is was or where. And the milk here is uncountable, I have to use was. The milk was drunk, past participle of the main verb. Moving to slide 11. Tom teaches us grammar. Tom, subject, teaches, verb, us, its object, grammar, another object. Yes, you can have two objects, so I can have two answers here. <clears throat> Begin with grammar. Grammar, then is, because the verb is written in present simple, am or is or are, grammar would take is. Grammar is, then, the past participle of teachers, which is taught, by Tom to us. What about us? Can we begin the sentence using us? Yes, but of course I have to change it from us into we. We... Instead of using is, I have to use verb to be, which is, of course, suitable for we, so it would be are. We are. Past participle of teachers, which is taught. We are taught grammar by Tom. Okay? Then another example, the same. 
let's look at slide 13. Uh, Thomson discovered the electrons. The electrons were discovered. Why were here? Because it's a, a, a verb to be in the past simple, should be was or were. Then past participle discovered by Thomson. Let's move to uh, uh, slide 14. Another exercise. We have a lot of exercises here concerning passive. Yes, it's very important to practice a lot because uh, it would give you confidence to answer any sentence uh, concerning passive. Let's uh, read number three. Number three. My uh, mom is going to prepare the food. Here, the tense is present continuous. The food, which is the object, then I have tried verb to be in uh, not present continuous. It's future using going to. So don't be confused. Not because we are having here ing, so you have to consider it present continuous. No, because it's going to prepare. Here it's future using going to. So I can't try being. I have to use is going to, then the infinitive of verb to be, which is be. So don't be confused. Here it's not present continuous. It's future by <coughs> going to. So the food is going to be prepared by mom. Slide 15, let's have another uh, sentence here. Let's talk about um, five, another kind of future. We will have to examine you again. Yes, last time we talked about be going to. Here we are going to use about, we are going to use future using will. You will have to be examined. Yes, will going to model uh, models, all of them should be followed by infinitive. I mean be only. We subject will have to examine. All of this is the verb in the future. Then you uh, object. I have to begin with the object, which is you. Then future will have to be infinitive. Then past participle, which is examined. <coughs> future perfect, okay? Then, slide 16, let's talk about number three. Nobody can beat Tiger Woods at golf. Yes, nobody, the subject, can beat the verb. Tiger Woods, at, Tiger Woods is the object, let's begin with it. Tiger Woods, then, can beat models, I have to say, cannot be. Past participle, which is beaten at golf. What about nobody? I don't have to add it because it wouldn't add any piece of information. What about can? It changes into cannot, negative. Why? Because I began with nobody. So nobody, no one, you have to change the verb from positive into negative. And you don't have to end your sentence by saying nobody. Moving to the last slide. <clears throat> Another example here. The lion ate the mouse. So, it could be the mouse was eaten by the lion. A lot of examples. You have to read them all because they are uh, um, very good for you to be practiced. Thanks a lot for your great attention for today and goodbye.